uh, welcome back everyone uh, for the second part of um, the morning session. Um, so as it is on the schedule, uh, we will have now um, full attention to um, the Amirish Innovation Big Impact Award. In this case, we'll have the oral pitch session. So for our finalists that are online, the rules are very simple. So you will have one minute, okay? And one minute only, I'll be as sharp as possible to pitch uh, your project. Um, all of you can find in the chat a link to all projects and all abstracts. And uh, we will follow the sequence that is available online. So uh, we will start with uh, BeSaver, uh, and in this case, I will share their video. Patricia, please confirm the audio. You're not hearing? No. no. Not hearing. Okay. Just a second. Can you please share again? Okay. I'm not, I can. Obligations. No. And below, you have to share. Let me just double check. Below we have to, to check the, the, uh, the share sound. sound. Yes, yeah. is that okay? Right? Very well. Okay. Plants are harvested by honeybees. It's vital to preserve the ecological balance. Yes. Of okay, no. Plants are harvested by oh, many harmful diseases. American fowl blood is the most devastating material disease in apiculture, and to control its propagation, the burning of the colonies is mandatory. Corrective measures are only effective early in the infection when visible signs are almost absent. Recently, we observed a rate of around 15% of Portuguese hives that were infected without symptoms. Besaver is a user-friendly on-site kit detecting spores in adult bees before they kill young larvae. The beekeeper will only need to collect a few bees from the hives, crush them, and add some regions according to a simple protocol. After up to four hours, you can read the result using a portable luminometer or even a mobile app through the mobile camera. We want to make a difference in containing this disease. In case of subclinical infection, the beekeeper can implement corrective measures. Okay, so this was the video from uh, BeeSaver, in this case, um, Anna Oliveira. Um, project. Uh, we jump now for uh, Joana, Joana Caldeira, uh, with the Fetalix um, project. Joana, good morning. Hi, good morning. I will try to share uh, my presentation then. Just yes, please. Uh, sorry, it's not opening the right okay. one. So when you are ready, just let me know. Okay, sorry, I'll try again. Okay, now I think it's sharing. Right, John, can you see it clearly? Yes. Okay. Okay, so one okay, minute. Then. So did you know that 1.4 billion tons of livestock waste are produced every year. Fetalix has the solution to create added value from mammalian fetal uh, byproducts that would otherwise be incinerated. We have developed the first fetal inspired biomaterial to uh, regenerate intervertebral disc and treat low back pain. Our injectable hydrogel uh, can re recreate a healthy environment due to its exclusive properties regenerative properties given uh, uh, the, the uh, similar to embryonic stages. This way, 
uh, with a minimally invasive approach, it will eliminate the need for invasive solutions already uh, available on the market. It will uh, decrease uh, intervention time by 90% and hospitalization days by 70%. So with a, a passionate and multidisciplinary team, we will uh, solve uh, the, the problem of low back pain and uh, at the same time, uh, promote circular economy. So please vote for us, especially if you want to create a better world for future generations, like the one I have here. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. So one minute and five on time. Thank you very much. Next project, please, Miguel Ramos from Fret uh, Fritalizer. Please, Miguel. Okay, <clears throat> let's start. So. Will you be sharing your screen? Oh, sorry. No problem. Can you see the video? Uh, we are seeing ours. Our you need to switch to the to the page that you want to share. And now, no. can you see the video? Yes, please. I think you are not sharing the sound. So uh, stop sharing, share, reshare. And when you click on the sharing button, click below when it says share sound. <coughs> Or if you take the, 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 the phones, it will work also. So please, the next project uh, as well, please make sure uh, you tick on that uh, box. So maybe the third is a charm. Yeah, okay. let's, no problem. Hi, my name is Miguel Ramos. Wait, you, you are not sharing the screen. You are sharing the sound now perfectly, but not sharing the screen. So let's try to <laughs> put everything together at the same time. Okay, so now we are just we just need the video. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So one minute from now. Project, uh, Caterina Custodio, uh, Meta Tissue. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, let me see. I will share you this video. Let me see. Let's see. <coughs> uh, I need the keyword for sharing. Uh, probably uh, Patricia, our. No, it's ours. open. It's open. Can you try again, Katerina, on it's the button of sharing and resharing? Okay, now it's working. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So, see the sound okay. if it works. No, no sound. Do you know that every year 100 million animals are being used in lab experiments? Despite that, 90% of their candidates fail during clinical development. That means that the translatability and efficacy of generated clinical data remains limited. And this is due to the lack of human relevant physiology in the current in vitro and in vivo models. 
MetaTissue will make it possible to develop human protein-based platforms using a technology that enables the fabrication of soft materials that provide a realistic microenvironment to the cells. For that, we are using the most easily accessible raw tissue materials, placenta, and expired platelet units that are discarded by clinical institutions. These platforms will find applications in disease modeling, 3D cell culture, and tissue engineering. Our technology will have a major impact on the 3D cell culture market and pharma industry by accelerating the direct discovery process, reducing associated costs, and animal testing. Meta tissue is advancing 3D cell culture. Thank you, Katarina. Thank you. Next up, we have Sebastian from Bactriagel with the Microbiogel project. Sebastian, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So I'll jump right in. Bactriagel, breaking the wall in microbiology to harness the full power of bacteria. Microbiology faces many challenges that hamper the ability to create both needed and disrupted treatments. The solution lies in representing the environment where microorganisms live. Enters Bactrigel, the first three-dimensional substrate with gradients of oxygen, nutrients, and viscoelastic properties to serve as an artificial mucus for culturing microorganisms in the lab like never before. Our initial markets are the human microbiome and antibiotic development markets, and later expand beyond wellness and healthcare towards emerging solutions such as vertical farming and bioenergy. Remember, microorganisms are everywhere. We follow a B2B business model by supplying to pharma, biotech, CROs, and research institutions. For this, we count with the effort of an engaging international and multidisciplinary group of people, the Bracket Factory team. Thank you for your attention. Please contact us or visit our website for further information. Thank you, Sebastian. Right on time. So, Laura Frazão from Mind Mimics, please. We will share our screen. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay, hello everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. The human brain, as you may know, is the most complex organ of the animal kingdom. Current methods to study the human brain include brains of dead people and animal studies. However, these solutions are far from perfect. At my mimics, we develop brain organoids, but let's just call them the mini brains. These are grown in the lab from your cells, such as skin cells or blood cells. At the end, they mimic the neurological characteristics of your brain. So what to do with them? At my mimics, we deliver the mini brains as a product, and we also test molecules on them and deliver the reports to our clients. The use of mini brains will decrease animal tests and also decrease the clinical trial failures. Additionally, it will create personalized medicine options and new therapies for neurological diseases. This is the amazing team behind Mind Mimic, so please join us to unlock the mysteries of the brain. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, uh, next up, Clara from Nature Hall. Clara, good morning. Good morning, thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Clara and let me introduce you to Metro. Every year more than 2 million people acquire infections inside hospitals and 90,000 die because of that. Contributing to these numbers are frequently touched surfaces as major sources of cross-contamination, as we all learn in the hardest way with the current pandemic. And our response is being a massive use of toxic disinfectants. But this is not only dangerous, but also highly inefficient because they only act upon application, so with a very short safety window. Natural wants to stop and correct that immediately while we still can. Natural is an eco-friendly solution that is also sustainable, long-lasting and safe for all. Using natural molecules in a smart and circular way, our system is self-cleaning and reacts to human touch. We already validated our concept in the lab, and now we are going to do it in hospitals and in food package. And for that, we have a really committed team, an experienced businessman, a blonde nerd in love with bio-inspired strategies, and an enthusiastic for tech translation. And this is what natural is about, inspired by nature, led by science. Thank you very much, Clara. Thank you. Good luck. To you. Next up, we have uh, Professor Ana Cristóvão from PDSOLV. Good morning. Good morning. 
I think we are hearing you very low, I believe. Really? Ah, now it's okay. Awesome. But, okay, I should talk louder. <laughs> Hello, awesome. Thank you. everybody. Good morning. So I'm sharing my screen. Okay, very well. Can you see it? Not yet, but hopefully soon enough. So I will be sharing. Yes, please try to double click again. So now everything is frozen. Okay. okay. How is it now? Okay. Now is it easy? <coughs> Sorry, you can start, please. Okay, so good morning everybody, this is PD Sol. Um, this project is devoted to Parkinson's disease, a highly um, uh, degenerative disorder uh, it, that has no cure and the current medication uh, helps the patient to deal with the symptoms. Unfortunately, with time, uh, the disease progressed and the response to the current medication reduced dramatically leaving this patient without therapeutic option. PD-SOL um, is uh, working on a new therapeutic strategy to reduce the speed of progression of this disorder and give higher sustainability to the current medication and an option to this patient. We are currently working in the preclinical development of this therapy and pushing the project forward to the clinical trials. This all comes from science to patient. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anna. Next up, Leonor Lovo. Good morning. Good morning. I will Hello, share my screen. Leonor. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I'll start then. Uh, so imagine that you're at home sleeping peacefully and then you are bitten by a mosquito that carries a potentially deadly disease like Chagas disease. In poor regions like Latin America, this happens every day. And even though we don't think it's our problem, it is because Chagas disease is now silently reaching more developed countries. For this reason, we propose the creation of a point of care test by adapting a 3D printer capable of detecting the parasite's DNA in an easier, more specific and faster way using only a few drops of blood with an innovative way to analyze the results using a smartphone. This method does not require a large investment or complex equipment since, since the initial investment for each testing center will be 20,000 euros less than the necessary for standard procedures. For each test, we would only need four euros or less, allowing its use in large-scale monitoring campaigns. PogDoc, your lifesaver. Thank you, Leonor. And finally, uh, we have Rafael uh, with the Q Weight Lux project. Rafael. Thank you, Hugo. So I will start the presentation. Hi, my name is Rafael and I will introduce you to q platelets. Musculoskeletal disorders affect one third of the world population. Autologous cell therapies, particularly uh, platelet-rich plasma and stem cells, are emerging promising options. However, the clinical studies show very limited outcomes. Why? Because blind doses are applied. So what is the solution? The solution is provided by q platelets. q platelets is a real-time dose quantification technology that allows to maximize the efficacy of the therapy. So far, we have been validating the prototype at the lab bench, and now we are preparing the preclinical trials. We are also looking for funding to support the clinical validation. To do so, we count on our best asset, our team. We have expertise in management, tech translation, and regenerative medicine. With this team, tech for med will make autologous cell therapy efficient, improving patients' lives. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rafael. Thank you. So uh, now that our uh, 10 finalists, to which I wish to give you a round of online applause, 